Hey, what's going on, guys? This is EJ, 1983 Guitar Hero. Wanted to put up a product review video on the iPhone 5C. It's been a year since I've actually had this phone, and I wanted to do my own review on it uh, because there's not any blind people's reviews on these YouTube channels. I've looked, and I haven't found one person that done a review on any type of iPhone or any type of voiceover stuff from Apple at all. So I wanted to do this one and this will be a blind review. This is my opinions, what I think about the phone and how it benefits me. Now sighted viewers that you're watching now, if you are interested in wanting to know exactly what voiceover really is, and how it helps us please watch this video like comment and subscribe and there'll be more videos the next one I'm gonna try to do is on the iPad mini 3 that I got and give you my review what I think about it but that's probably not gonna be for a little while because I've only had it for two days and there's so much I need to learn about this phone phone learn about this iPad before I actually give a review on it and there will be more product reviews coming uh, there will be more a little bit of everything actually is going to be coming soon so just stay tuned but uh, right now we're going to jump right in alright guys here we go we're going to start off with the top part which is I guess the top part for the phone here we've got the sleep weight button We've got the vibrate switch here. We've got the volume up and downs here. We've got the headphone jack here, five millimeter, five millimeter head jack. We got your microphone next to it, your lightning connector, your and your speaker phone. I actually kind of like the speakerphone a lot better because on the other phones, the 4S, the 4, the 5, and the 5S, I'm not too fond of the speaker grill. I, I think it it doesn't really give a lot of the, it doesn't do the best on sound quality for music playback that I think anyway. Uh, this one here, since it has like the smaller speakers, uh, the smaller holes drilled to the speaker, your sound quality comes out a little cleaner. You don't have all the little staticky sounds that comes out of the speakers when it's turned up, you know, full, you know, full volume. And I just haven't had any complaints out of this phone. If I had to rate it between one and five stars, I would rate this phone at a five star because there's not very many phones out there today that I have seen. Let me put this phone over here for a minute. That I have seen that uh, benefits for blind people. Yes, there was phones in Altel. There was phones in Cricket, Nextel, Sprint. What am I forgetting? Verizon. But none of them would actually talk 100%. And the iPhone, thanks to Apple, decided to put a feature in their phones. I think it was ever since the 3GS was when they first started, I believe. If I'm, if I'm wrong, please correct me down below in the comment section. But I believe it was the 3GS that when they uh, first started doing the, the voiceover feature. Um, I've had the iPhone 5C for about a year now. It'll be a year next month. And I haven't had one complaint out of this phone. Yes, at times, it's it's a little slippery to hold on hold in your hand. I think it's a perfect feel. It's... It, it's it's made very nice. The uh, polycarbonate plastic is very nice. There's no lines. There's no there's no gaps in the plastic when they made it. it. Like it's been just molded right together, which 
is one of the reasons why I like that film better than I did the 5S. Because I just got tired of seeing the same aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I, I can understand, you know, ever since the 3GS was a plastic, I don't know if it was car polycarbonate or not, but ever since the 4, 4S, 5, 5S, and five, of course, 6 and 6 Plus are aluminum, and the iPhone 5C is the only one besides the 3GS and I think the 3 was plastic. I don't know about the ones previous than that, but let me know now. Let me know down in the comment section below on that one too, please. But ever since I've had this phone, you know, it it has it's helped me a lot. I'm able to check my emails. I can go on Twitter. I can go on Facebook. I can go on Safari. I can do everything that a sighted person would do without a voiceover feature. And for ones that don't know about blind people and what do I mean by voiceover on the iPhone, this is the voiceover on the iPhone. 18 Let me slow down the voice a little bit here. I usually have it faster than that because I'm I'm really good at catching on to it, but um, settings. But yeah, with this iPhone, of course you got you know you got your normal uh, apps on the screen, but with the voiceover feature is able to tell me my battery status, what time it is, what the weather is. Uh, what how many signal bars I've got how many Wi-Fi bars I have um, When my battery is gonna start dying it, it does a whole lot For me and it benefits 100% for me because the old phones Would never tell you some of them. Yes, they did kind of give you a warning beep when they uh, when the battery was going dead but there were some phones that I had that I thought the battery was 100% kind of find out it was only 10% charged and it wouldn't notify you when the when you hook it up to a charger that it was actually charging but yeah basically on this phone your gestures for your sighted are gonna be a little bit different you know for a regular iPhone with no voiceover you can tap and swipe and and all that stuff you know, on different icons and all and it automatically will just boom put you right into where you got to go on my iPhone and I'll show you guys this because there's nothing on there that you guys are going to be able to see anyway but on the iPhone we've got contacts mail messages phone social 10 apps business folder 3 apps basically if you take one finger swipe to the right it'll take you to the previous item one swipe to the left Social. Ten apps. will take you back to the previous item and if you wanted to let's say for example let's go down to capture YouTube go down to YouTube let's see what's going on in the YouTube world huh YouTube you're on turn around this way heading level 1983 of course, that's uh, my YouTube channel if you guys like to follow, 1983 Guitar Hero. That is all smashed together. Um, there's no spaces in between any of them. Uh, History. Your account. 1983, what to watch. My channel. I'll go to my channel. How about that? We'll look at, we'll look at something that I've actually Thank posted you. up there on YouTube. So we'll go to... Videos. Playlist videos. Button. Let's Selected. go to videos. videos. Also, how you select certain things, which I'll actually turn the phone around this time and show you guys. The way you select, you basically swipe Playlists. over. Button. Button. Let me make sure I got I have this in my hand correctly. Here we go. And down a little bit. Okay. Basically, if I hold it up right here, you guys will be able to see a little bit better. Come on, cover ideas. 
I have drum cover ideas, which that's my previous video that I just posted up on YouTube a couple days ago, um, where I was telling you guys, you know, about uh, if there was a drum cover that you guys wanted me to do, just leave it down in the comment section, section, tongue twister, and I would be able to go find it, practice it, and then post it on YouTube, and I would actually... Um, Post it on my channel with your name and what song that you that you chose for me to play. So that's gonna be probably uh, something in the future. I just had to have enough people that wants to actually participate in that and 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 all that good stuff. That I that may be something I'll put as a uh, playlist. Um. I just haven't figured it out quite yet, but that would be between my iPhone and the iPad. I've never actually played drums on the iPad before, so that'll be something that I'm going to try to do, and uh, that'd be a little bit of a challenge, though, to me, and I'm always up for challenges, so let me give you some to drink real quick here. Some Lipton peach tea. By the way, this stuff is delicious. Mm. So, back to the YouTube thing here. I'm going to show you kind of how to get into certain things, how to get out of certain things. You go like this. More actions. Button. Nah, how about we watch the... 1983 Bitter Hero. Selected. Videos. Playlist button. Drum cover. More actions. Maroon 5. iPhone drum cover. Blank. 24 views. How about we watch the Maroon 5 iPhone drum cover, huh? So all you have to do, take one finger and tap the screen twice. And of course, oh, look who that is. That looks just like me, huh? And of course, guys, that was from an iPhone hooked to my Bose. So, and it sounded pretty good, actually. That does sound pretty good. I actually like that. But we're going to pause that, actually. But yeah, that's how you basically activate certain items. It could be links, it could be pictures, um text fields all you do is just swipe over and the icon will recognize where you are and you just double tap the screen twice with one finger and it'll activate that certain feature um, of course your rotors you've got your characters words uh, volume and stuff like that and all my, I say all my apps I have on my phone are, majority of them are accessible. Some of them I had to turn voiceover off and then turn it back on and it'll, it'll kick in uh, to whatever that app is. And there's times like Angry Birds, for example, Angry Birds is not blind friendly on their games. So you can't use voiceover at all in the game. But I was taught how to get into the gameplay, which one day I may do that. I just got to get used to their menus again, uh, again because they decided to update it in, well, the menus that were told to me where they would be on the screen is no longer in that general area. It's all kind of switched around. But... I think I'm going to be done with this one here. Um, there's not very much more to talk about about this iPhone. Like I said, if you don't have an iPhone, talking to you blind people out there that watch these videos and wants to find a phone that's going to be accessible for you, and, well, even for the sighted people, if you want, to, if you want to be able to witness exactly how a blind person uses the phone, go to your settings, go to general, go to, to accessibility and turn voiceover on now I will warn you that the gestures will be different for
for you than what it is without voiceover on. So I'm just letting you know now. But you guys go check it out. I mean, the voiceover is perfect. I mean, if it's like at nighttime and you don't feel like really getting up to get in your phone or, or turn it over to get your phone to check the time, all you do is press your home button. And I'll show you on this one, actually. You just press the home button. 11.27 a.m. Boom. It tells you the time. It'll tell you the date. And you never have to even look at your phone, really. If you're texting, you know, if you're driving and someone sends you a text message, voiceover will read it to you. And then, of course, you have to double tap whatever the reply button and use dictation. And ba there you go. You're basically hands-free. I can walk and text at the same time, my cane in my right hand, my phone in my left hand, and I wouldn't miss a beat. So, like I said, it's the best phone that I think by far. I know 6 and 6 Plus, they probably got some bells and whistles in that phone that I'm definitely going to probably look into eventually. And I'm just, I'm just going to wait right now until my upgrade comes up. I'm not going to buy it right now because it's, it's just too much. But, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a lot of rambling on, but I've got, you know, to the point now, you know, do, you know, I'm going to put up some videos, just some random videos about random stuff. And it's the majority of it is going to be about my life. And some of it's going to be about music, which that's all coming um, I'm going to start doing some more of that tomorrow on Saturday. And if everything works out Saturday, you guys look for it on Sunday. Um, I'm going to try to at least do one or two tomorrow afternoon and have them uploaded to YouTube Saturday night, early Sunday morning for you guys to check out. If they're not there, I just couldn't put them up there or maybe the... Upload this was taking too long It happens But I hope you guys like this video like I said, uh, please comment like and subscribe for more videos I know these videos aren't exciting I'm sorry But as a blind person, I'm only limited to do so much um, I'm sorry. I can't do any gaming videos. I've tried and That didn't work out too well uh, with the comments that were on that certain video. They said that the the uh, video quality sucked. I shouldn't have never done it. So I'm not going to even try to do any any gaming videos. But product reviews. Uh, product review videos. Yes. I will do like on. Next I think I'm going to do this. Um, Adiro U-Snap tripod that I just got. Actually for the iPhone 5C. I'm going to try to do that one here. Probably later on tonight. When I get back home from bowling. And that'll be on a separate video. And if I can get it uploaded tonight, then it'll be up tomorrow. If not, I'm going to try to get up early in the morning and try to do it and have it up by Saturday afternoon. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching and comment, like, and subscribe. Later, guys.